Hey, it's Demo, and I... I need to just... Uh, <laughs> so I haven't made any videos in like quite a long time, and there's a really good reason for that, uh, and it's pretty much all to do with mental health. So I hope that um, if I explain my situation a little bit, you can all understand or maybe even relate to me. <laughs> Basically, I suffer from rather severe depression and anxiety, and it affects me on a day-to-day -day basis, and definitely affects the things I love, like YouTube, uh, even dancing, which I've been doing since I was six years old. Like, even that, it has become more challenging lately because of my mental health. And um, I, you know, I finally reached a point where I went, hey, nah, this isn't cool anymore, and um, after years of refusing them, decided to try antidepressants. I'd been refusing them because I'd heard bad stories, I was worried about being dependent on a drug, and I just... I wanted to try, you know, beating it myself, I wanted to try other ways of being positive and making myself happy, and unfortunately, uh, you know, I, I tried those and they didn't work. <laughs> Not well enough, anyway. So right towards the end of 2017, I started taking antidepressants, and um, they put me through a lot of things. Uh, a lot of insomnia, a lot of bullshit, a lot of mood swings, a lot of sweating. Way too much sweating. Like, I was already too sweaty, and then there was that on top, and I was just like, Bitch, I don't need this much fucking sweat! Okay. <laughs> but after like a month of that, uh, the side effects did actually start to wear off and I started to feel pretty fucking great on these antidepressants and I was getting pretty inspired for the new year and I was really keen and uh, the first thing I was really excited for was an audition, which I think was my first mistake. <laughs> you just shouldn't get excited for auditions because they're always um, a big maybe. So being excited for it is like, that's good. That means you're keen for the potential of a job, but you're also going to be very let down when you don't get that job. The reason I was so excited for this audition is because it was for a dancing position uh, in Cirque du Soleil, and I've wanted to work for Cirque du Soleil since I was like fucking... I don't even know, like... T uh, two? <laughs> I started dancing at the age of six, and then like a few years into that, I was like really into dancing, and my dance school actually took us all to see Cirque du Soleil as like a little field trip thing, which was really fucking cool. And I fell in love, I just absolutely... <sighs> Cirque du Soleil is just amazing, like I was lost for words, I fell in love with Cirque du Soleil, I went, I want to work for Cirque du Soleil, I went right next door to a dance school called Brent Street because they were, they set up their tent right next to it, it was just, it's what up, that, uh, mm, uh, what? I saw Cirque, I fell in love, I walked into the dance school next door, I fell in love, I said I'm going to go to this dance school and I'm going to work for Cirque. I went to that dance school so now I just have to work for Cirque. So, <laughs> You know, easy done, right? Cirque almost never auditioned in Australia, and this year they actually did. <sighs> Fucking... Uh, bet you couldn't have guessed that. <laughs> so of course I went to the audition, and I actually did really well. There were like almost 400 people at the audition, and I was like in the last 30 or so. So that's pretty fucking cool, uh, maybe like last 40, I don't know, but I like made it all the way through the end of the day, survived a heap of different cuts, made it through contemporary, made it through hip hop, made it through acrobatics, made it through impro round one, and then uh, didn't make it through to the callbacks the next day. So fucking close. I think it was 19 people ended up making it all the way through in Sydney, so I was really, really close if I was in the last 30 or 40, so shit son, that was disappointing. Very disappointing. <laughs> and then my mum pointed out to me that they were auditioning in Melbourne the next weekend, so I flew to another state and tried auditioning again, thinking, hey, like, maybe they'll be really impressed by my... Um, how do words work? <laughs> I thought maybe they'd be really impressed by my commitment, and they'd be like, oh yeah, cool, let's like put him through, like, definitely at least to where he got before and see if he can do anything better this time. And I was like, yeah, cool, ready to go, and I got cut round one. So apparently they just were very sure that they didn't want me, at least not yet, so I'm not discouraged enough to never try again, but who the hell knows when Cirque is coming back to audition in Australia. Please come back next year. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> that, that's about that. Um, yeah. So I was feeling pretty down after that, feeling a little bit super fucking depressed. My anxiety was a little shook, if you will. So I had a little a lot of time to myself and um, I'm finally starting to feel a lot better. A few of those like mental blocks that I had have been removed. Um, I'm a lot less anxious at the moment which is really nice. I think my meds are kind of like double kicking in if that's a thing. If not then hey I've made a personal 
progression. Oh yay me! And I am really, really inspired for YouTube now, and I know I've said this a lot, but like, I think, I really think this is, this is the one that I really stick to it with, because I kind of, I don't know if you've noticed, I've done this, I've rearranged, I have like a couch thing that I can literally just slip off. It's cool. And I'm working on kind of going back to my YouTube roots, like I want to be a lot more casual with my videos, I want to be a lot more real. Um, and I want to just make things that I am excited about, which would be new, well not new, but like, good. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do a little restart, we're gonna just pretend I've never even made a fucking YouTube video, and um, this is the very first one I've ever posted. No, I'm not deleting my channels, I'm not deleting my videos, I'm just, I'm just doing this more for me. And also... I feel like some of you might not actually know me, but more just my content. So hey, this is my introduction video. <laughs> hey, what's Damo? And I am terrible. <laughs> I am a 24-year-old professional dancer and actor who is currently between gigs. Like, really far apart gigs. <laughs> and I've been making YouTube videos for... I made my first YouTube account 12 years ago. And yeah, I posted videos on it. So I've been making YouTube videos for 12 years. I haven't even got a play button yet. Ah. <coughs> <laughs> what do I make videos on? Well, I used to make videos on whatever I thought would get views. Now I make videos on things that I'm actually interested in or passionate about, which includes mental health, sexuality, drag, Video games, makeup, anime, dance, anything else I'm interested in at the time. <laughs> Sometimes, on occasion, I also enjoy learning things. <laughs> so I'm actually planning on doing a video series where I pick a topic that I don't know much about, other people might know a lot about it, it might be generally common knowledge, but I'm not assuming shit. I'm just gonna go, hey, I don't know much about it, other people might not too. And I'm gonna learn about it in the video and, you know, share that information with you, make some cute little animations, put in some pictures, make it pretty, make it entertaining. And that, that just sounds fun. Yeah, cool. Also, when I started my YouTube videos, I used to literally just press go and just do, like there is no go button on a camera. I used to press record <laughs> and I just used to do whatever came to my mind. Of course, I was definitely like, I had too much of everything. But I do want to try doing things like that. I want to just sit down and talk about whatever comes to mind. I also want to do videos where I sit down and pick some random words from a random word generator and then make a video on that. However, I choose to. <laughs> I might just talk about it. I might make a skit about it. I might craft something. I don't know. Like, just sit down, get some random words from a random word generator and get some inspiration and just do a fucking thing. It could turn out really shit, but honestly, I think that is part of the beauty of it, and I think that would be just as entertaining to watch what happened to my voice. I also want to make favorites videos, talk about music, because I love music and things, and yeah. See, I love music. You can tell from how good I am at every song I sing. And I really want to make daily vlogs again, because I did that for a little bit, and I loved it, and I just love uh, taking everyday bullshit and turning it into a tiny little movie and I think that's cool and fun and funky and fresh. But it's a lot of work to make videos daily, so they won't be quite daily to begin with if I can somehow make YouTube a full-time job. Yeah, I'll be posting every goddamn day. You bet your tits. See, so yeah, I'm gonna have all of that on this channel and um, we'll see what else I feel inspired to do, but I'm just starting out with this simple sitting down and reintroducing myself, so I hope that you're excited for what's to come because I'm excited for what's to come. If you are, hit on that subscribe button. Don't hit it, don't click it. I mean, hit on it. Tell it it's fucking beautiful. Give it a kiss, take it out to dinner. In that order, it likes it when people take control. But also maybe you could click the subscribe button. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to being inspired and being happy and making shit that I'm happy about. Uh, but yeah. Oh, also I have a Patreon. Just gonna put that out there, just gonna shove that right in here, right into this video. Because if you stuck around to this point of the video, maybe you want to support me, maybe not, maybe that's fine too. If you want to check it out, links in the description, there are rewards on there, which I've been a bit shit with. 
So if you are already a Patreon, you can expect extra rewards in the coming months because uh, thank you so much for sticking around. Basically, you could have cancelled your pledge at any time. And I was very transparent with what was going on in my life. And thank you all for understanding. And I love you and you're brilliant. And if you want to check it out, as I said, link is in the description. Because uh, my aim is to make YouTube a full-time job. That would be amazing. And uh, I know this sounds really dumb, but if every one of my subscribers pledged a dollar, I could quit. I don't have a job, but like, if I, I could, I would be able to live comfortably off YouTube if everyone pledged a dollar a month. It's pretty fucked to think about. I could, I literally, like literally, I'd be living so comfortably, it'd be insane. So if half of you could just pledge a dollar a month, golden. Maybe I'll make a dollar really, really tempting. Let me know what you want to see on Patreon. <laughs> I don't know. Um, thanks for listening to me ramble. Cool. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I will see you in the next one, which will hopefully be very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like. I'm gonna start reminding you to do that because I'm starting out fresh. I don't know any better. Do I still? Yeah, I'll still do it. Fuck off!